Hello students, some of you have had questions about Unit 6, Lesson 2, Assignment 1. I'm going to cover that for you real quick here in this video. Um, what are you supposed to do? Um, so let's cover that real quick. Uh, right here it says download versus link. Is What we need to do is we need to search the internet for a photo that is copyrighted that we can't use without permission. And then we also want to find a photo that uh, states that we can use it because it doesn't have a copyright or it has limited copyright uh, information on it. Um, up here, um, at the top, we're gonna, I'm gonna scroll up here. So this is the very beginning. Here's the content of all the different pages. Each one of these have information that covers um, why and how and when we can use copyright images. This image right here on page, let's see, page five is great because it has a, um, did you write, draw, record the work yourself? No, or yes, go ahead and use it. So look over that image, that's very useful. Um, to, to help out um, the process of figuring out what you can and can't use. So I'm going to keep going over this way. There's more information on which images uh, you can use or not use. Um, and as we get over here to the very last page, it has um, some links with um, fully copyable pictures, audio clips, and more. So these are some nice sites that um, you can use the images from. Um, that are normally not copyrighted, but we're going to check that out anyway. So I'm going to click on the morgue file here. Um, here's some images here. Um, let me click on this. Looks like a bluebird of some sort. Let's see. It's a blue jay. Okay. So once I have the blue jay picture in here, I just need to look and find out um, if this uh, is an image that I can use in my assignment. You are allowed to copy, distribute, transmit the work, and to adapt the work. So that means that I can uh, put it into a presentation or something like that. Attribution is not required. So I don't necessarily need to say where this source is from, but um, for good measure, that would be nice to if we can find who took the photo to give them due credit. So here are two images. Here's the image uh, link, and then um, there's also an image link right here. Um, so I need to copy one of these and then include that um, within the assignment. So when we go back to the assignment page here, it says locate one image that you have permission to download. So I just found an image that I have permission to download. Um, here it says, for example, take a screenshot of where it says you have permission. So we want to do that. I showed you where that was. Next, locate an image that you have permission to link to. So let's find out about that one. So what do we have permission to link to? As long as you, as long as it's out there on the web, uh, you're welcome to put a link to the site because you are not actually um, copying that information. You're just using it as a resource. So here, I'm going to scroll down. I searched uh, bluebirds. Here's a bluebird photo. Here, um, there's plenty to choose from as we go down. Um, I'm looking for one that's similar to the one before. Not necessarily seeing one. I'm just going to use this one here. So I'm going to click on this, autobomb.org. There's the photo. Down here it says uh, it might be subject to copyright. That doesn't allow us, know if, allow us to know if it's copyrighted or not. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the picture there. This takes me to the Autobahn uh, Guide to North American Birds website. So I'm going to click down here. Um, illustration. So illustration, there's an illustration right here. That's something that you could use um, because it shows that it's copyrighted by David Allen Sibley. And so I can't use these photos uh, because they're copyrighted, but I could take a screenshot of that image. Um, I'd also want to have this in it showing that it was copyrighted. So I could take a screen capture right here and show this is an image that's copyrighted. So any website that you can go to that you can find an image that shows the copyright symbol right here and take a screenshot of that. Then you'd want to take a or uh, take and copy the link um, and include that in your assignment as well. So we're back here to the assignment page. It says locate one image that you have permission to link to. Remember that uh, we can uh, add links uh, to uh, the images that we're using. So that's one that we can use there. So I found one image uh, in the morgue file that uh, gives me permission to download. And then I've also found an image that I could simply link to.
Okay. Um, next it says click the assignment link above and then click the right submission button. In the text field that appears, you're going to do a couple things. Submit the URL and the proof for both one and two above. So, so what I will do is I'll include both of those links from the sites that I was on and I will also include the screenshots from both of those sites and that will cover the requirements for this assignment. I hope that was helpful. Um, enjoy uh, looking for pictures. Um, I think it's a good assignment because it teaches us uh, that you know sometimes uh, it does take a little bit of effort to look for uh, images that we can use freely, but there are plenty of web websites out there um, that we can use. Okay, one more thing I want to add real quick here is I'm on Google search um, and I use this often to teach uh, my own students in the classroom and I thought I might as well teach you here quickly as well. Um, I put in Bluebird here. Uh, you have search tools up here. When I click on the search tools is what's nice is it allows me to choose photo or clip art or line drawing or things like that. Um, right here I am able to pick, uh, I can uh, have it not filtered by license or I can do usage rights. I'm going to click on usage rights. I'm going to click labeled for reuse. Okay, so I'm going to click on that there and then uh, let's see, I'm going to find an image. Oops, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to go over here to this one. I'm going to click on this. Here's a close-up of a mountain bluebird. I'll click on that there. Okay, right here it shows that it's royalty-free stock picture. Down here, um, it is listed as usage public domain. So that means that I can use it without uh, needing to uh, have uh, royalties to it or permission to use it because uh, it's, it's uh, in public domain. So that's another image that I could use. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out to you because it's an excellent source uh, when we search for uh, usage rights within the Google image search. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.